Good morning, Acadiana. I'm Angie Dusant, your North Lafayette Parish reporter for KATC TV3. This is the reality of severe weather across Acadiana. The damage these storms have caused over the past few days has been catastrophic. Here's a prime example of the devastation and just how powerful these storms can be. Another night of severe storm across Acadiana, leaving downed trees, power lines, and home damage across parishes. Late Thursday evening, the storm had come and gone, but not before leaving a path of destruction and power outages throughout the night. Water just coming all in here, yeah. At William and Jody Gillis's home, Thursday night storm is one they will never forget. After a tree fell on the couple's home, piercing through their dining room. Went to the bathroom and then it, you know, to, for a safe place and then... Then we went back in the bedroom and all of a sudden we heard this crash and water was coming into our dining room. And we just fixed this. Luckily, just... William, his wife and their dog are safe, but because of the damage, they had to pack up and leave their home for a hotel. Despite this, he's in good spirits. It's the second time this has happened in two years. To you guys. Oh yeah, we just rebuilt and my tree fell on my house. Now the neighbor's tree fell. Next door neighbor Joanna Carrico, whose property the tree was on, says it held a special meaning to her. She was planning to name the tree after her daughter, Nicole Prevet, who died in 2002. What came to your mind when you came outside and you saw this? Well, that first was Bill and Jody, and then the second thing was I would never be able to name the tree after my daughter now. And that really broke my heart because I was just getting ready to go have a brass plaque made to put on the tree and name after a daughter I had lost. Although Joanna won't get that opportunity, she says she's grateful her neighbors are safe. Meanwhile, the images of damage continue to cross Acadiana with downed trees, downed power lines reported in Lafayette, Doosan, Scott, St. Martin Parish, and many other areas. And these are the kinds of stories we've been sharing with you these past few days. Severe weather wreaking havoc across Acadiana, destroying homes, businesses, and even lives. I still can't get over how big this tree is. The cleanup effort is going to be massive. And with severe weather expected, the next few days across Acadiana is going to take some time. I'm Angie Dusant, your North Lafayette Parish reporter for KATC TV3.